All right, we're going to be doing a quick test of this hydraulic impulse test stand. We're going to be doing just the positioning system. So we're going to make this, this carriage here uh, move back and forth, up and down, and then a circular omega motion. Uh, this machine is made for testing the characteristics of hydraulic hoses. Uh, so we just have a sample hose in here. Uh, you're, so you're bending it while you're impulsing it with pressure. All right, so on the control panel here, you get to select all the parameters of how to how to bend the hose. Uh, you can see we're we're in the in the omega menu, uh, and the hose can be oriented multiple ways on on the different uh, platens. So we just happen to have it uh, vertically on this one and then a 45 on that one. And then you can enter all those parameters into here and then it will figure out uh, the distance to move. Uh, so as of now we have the, the height of the fitting at just three inches on, on both sides and then the radius we have at three and a half inches. So if you go to change the radius and we'll just change it to say three Now we need to change the, the Y position the first time we turn it on. So we're going to go down here, go to Y. Now we're going to turn the hydraulic pumps on. And then we have to wait 20 seconds for this to read a 20. system should just move a little bit. Alright, now it says Y is in position. So now we're going to test some of the movements. So instead of going position Y axis, we're going to change that. And we'll go, we'll go straight Z, so it's going to go straight up and down. start. And there's the straight Z movement. Alright, so we'll stop that. And we'll try a different one. This is only moving at 30 RPM, so we can speed it up by going up to the RPM. We'll do 60.
was just testing the positioning system. Um, then you also have to go in and set uh, the pressure system for providing the impulses, and that's a whole other menu. That's where we would set the pressure.